Kameras, die irgendwelche Bewegungen erkennen sollen. Das kennt man ja von Kinect, nur da funktioniert es leider nie auf der Xbox. Äh, hoffentlich macht es Intel äh, mit seiner Technologie auf dem PC besser. Neben mir steht Juri Kotzatschuk. Der erklärt mir mal ganz kurz, um was es hier geht. Juri, what's this? This is uh, Intel's perceptual computing uh, technology, where we're showing today the camera that we're developing with our go-to-market branding partner Creative. This is a camera that understands depth and helps the computer to bring senses to understand the human world like much like we humans do. So the camera has the RGB camera, has a depth camera that you're seeing right now, and it has dual array microphones that help it understand voice. So right now you're showing how you can have the computer understand different gestures, automatically translate them to be on the fly. At the same time, we can jump into the demos where now the computer can start helping you have a very intuitive and in interactive conversation with it. So right now, if you bring up your two hands to it, you create a solar system. Congratulations. Now you can be like God. Here you go. The fact that I don't have to demo it to you, it speaks to the nature of how easy it is to do. And makes the interaction much easier, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like so, a to report. Exactly. It's just like that. So now the computer can understand the depth and as such the computer can help you interact with it by you just simply moving your hands, right? Now if you if we walk over a little bit to the right, this is a different way to use the exact same technology. So now we can start this is what we're used to seeing today when it comes down to our conversations, right? Yeah. But having the depth technology, we can get rid of it. We're gonna get rid of you as well. Yeah, yeah. you just erased me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's the, er is the erase ugly people button. Yeah, you said it, I'm just gonna agree with that. <laughs> no problem. But uh, you can now create the, if you will, it's uh, kind of like a privacy screen, right? You're transferring much less data over internet and this is becoming a true transparency where you can actually click straight through it and still continue to interact with your machine even though the screen has been disappeared, right? So if we walk over to the other side, you can see yet another way to use this technology. So we have here the little monkey guy called Mugi Moko. And this is a virtual pet. He has two different uh, moods. We can call him in. He's actually going to start mimicking me right now. So if you look Face here, mimicry. yeah, he's doing everything that I do. There's me moving my eyebrows, opening my mouth. Oh, I want to try it. Well, get can your I? face in. Hold on. Give it a second. He's going to pick up your face. Hopefully, right? My Gesicht, my Gesicht is too hasty. He will, he will. My face is too ugly for him. No, no, no. He's gonna pick up your face. Give it a second. Mugi, look at his face. Oh, he doesn't like it, but there ah. you go. There you are. All right. Don't try sticking out your tongue because it's not gonna work, but. <laughs> it worked. Yeah. So. If we uh, push him back, we can start uh, maybe playing rock, paper, scissors. Let's see this. There you go. Rock, paper, scissors. What do we want to go on with? Scissors and scissors. Not so good. A right. draw. Let's go with rock. Uh, oh, you, you made me lose. You made me lose. But if we take the hand out, he's going to be very confused because uh, he was missing a hand. Now he's going to turn to his alter ego, the Moko personality, <laughs> and there he goes. In this personality, he's going to act completely different to everything that you do. So if I'm going to give him a lollipop now, only God knows what he's going to do with it. There you go. Overexcitement. 
lollipop sticks to the back and uh, <laughs> yeah can't really take that off so that's one way to use the computer right that's uh, kind of like a little toy pet now if we go over to the right we have yet another example of how you could potentially be using your computer so in this case this is actually a um, hand tracking skeleton so you can see my hand right there in the screen and the computer oh there's the coin <laughs> the computer actually mimics everything that my hand does so I can interact with coins I can put my hand perpendicular to the camera fold down a finger and the computer knows which finger I just fold down right nothing prevents the uh, developer to create maybe a interaction with robot hands that will do exact same thing or maybe make a computer game where it actually starts understanding what my hand is doing and start opening the doors or whatnot with it right another feature that the camera allows us to do is to have understanding of face recognition in three dimensions we have this uh, available today in two dimensions with the uh, web camera but now you can see that the camera is looking for a face right if I'm gonna show my face to the camera it's going to recognize it and it's going to log me into my computer the whole process of testing for a photo was just simply figuring out where my face is and the difference between my nose and my ears and uh, last but not least Mr. Dragon Assistant. So this is yet another example of uh, how Intel is trying to help the computing to be changed. And instead of you typing something into your computer, much of the everyday tasks can now be removed by having to simply talk to your computer. Okay. Right. So if I want to go to find out what my next appointment is, I'm going to have to say what's my next appointment otherwise I would have to click on my calendar and find it out on my own right what is my next appointment yeah. ah it still works no, it there works. you go London press event London press event that's tomorrow but you can see that the computer can even in a very noisy environment the computer can still figure out what I want from it and start working this is a local based system so everything all the processing is done right here locally because of that the turnaround time is very quick the only reason why you even need to be connected to internet is to find out things like if you have internet based calendar or if you want to check twitter facebook all of your media is known locally so you can just say play song and it's gonna go off and play your song even with my accent it can play songs and I can butcher them and it's still gonna play them because it knows the songs that I have right so there you go that's perceptual computing initiative by Intel und ich bin mal gespannt was dieses Ding macht wenn man fränkisch reinredet <laughs>